So, uh, Warhammer 40k, uh, 40k Mechanicus. I don't actually know that much about it. I do know that Daniel and Jess subscribed for the 21st month in a row, and we will find out together if uh, if you can actually uh, surf in this game. Uh, as I said, this is the preview build, so there's uh, I think there's currently only three missions available, uh, but uh, in the information I have, that's going to be expanded quite a lot, and there's also a bunch of other things. As if you watch if you watch any of any of the paradox streams I'm on where we run hot code, this is essentially it. It's just a probably just a slightly fancier version. Now, <clears throat> I should mention that I haven't actually uh, played this before. I thought about checking it out beforehand, but uh, then I changed my mind and felt like I had to go get dinner instead. So I haven't done that. One thing I do want to do, though, is uh, we're going to jump over here. And we are also, let me get back to that. Uh, we're also going to remove my face for a bit. Nope. That's, yes. There we go. Good. Face gone. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day, the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved. <laughs> Even in death, I serve the on desire. Yeah, so this is hella forty K Mechanicus. Let's uh let's jump into new game, shall we? I'm not going to read this because I don't think I'll do it justice. Okay, I am actually going to try to read some of these. Uh, an echo in the new, <laughs> new sphere, Margos. An old transmission lost in the Empyrean and recovered only now. Well, I mean, that dude's already talking. Okay, we are weaker than ever. <clears throat> I mean, everyone loves to research, right? Let's gather the Magi! Four months later, I guess the Magi has been gathered.
Whoever finds this transmission and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen, but be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but found so much more. Terrors, yes, threats to body and soul, but by the ominous eye, I have found such wonders. Well, shockingly, there's something there. You know what? I feel like uh, Skevola has a decent uh, hypothesis. <laughs> you know what? Videx is not as cool. Okay, so he knows shit. Okay, so we're not going to get any extra resources. You know what? This seems like a lovely bunch of people to hang out with. Rebooting systems, work travel defeated, zero organic life forms, oil leak. Shit's about to get real. we made it out of the warp <clears throat> without having to kill any demons okay <laughs> Ooh, 11.7% below the average. So, um... I mean... This is all really neat. But it is slightly long before I actually get to do things. It is very- it, it is very nicely written, though. Like, it's- it's- it's cool, but... You know. Yeah, so if we find any Cenos, we're gonna wreck their shit. 
Agrolex sector located. Er, Derelict Sino's tomb. Uh, rubble littering every uh, the corner of every room. Dark shadows are cast over cracked slabs of tarnished metal by the crumbled openings in the tomb ceiling. Signs of light sources can be found, but are often broken and rarely connected to a power source to be able to illuminate the dark. The smell of ages past, fungal spores and dust hit the cohorts uh, that enter uh, new rooms as they pry open tomb doors that no longer serve their purpose. Okay. Looks like a bur uh, buried tomb structure. Uh, if the if the in-game audio is too loud, let me know, because I'm lowering it in my headset a bit. Let secret of this world equal zero! Let's go down there and find stuff. Now I'm, I am pretty sure I know what's down there because I read the uh, preview notes, which mentioned some things. Uh, <clears throat> the exp uh, so this is the start of the tutorial. Look at our cool skull dude. The exploratory unit of tech priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Muggins. There is no telling what we'll find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of the unexpected. Okay. It would be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a morale threat exists that this guitar are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari, but they are still far from the ascension that a tech priest affords. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Servo Skull Reditus shall be my eyes and ears on the ground. Omnisai be praised. We're going in. Okay. Welcome to the exploration overview. This is the projection of the tomb our text priests are sending us. You decide the direction of our ex expedition forces from here. To look around you, left uh, to look around, left mouse click and drag. When you're ready, left mouse click to choose the next room to move to. Okay. So clearly, we're going over here. Yeah, run like the wind, tech priests. These Enos hieroglyphs, I know of them. <coughs> they, they are my underoos. Necrons, mysterious, ill-researched, corruptive. They're the worst. Especially when, when you accidentally, you know, land on their planet because your pilot can't drive properly. Well, pilot properly. Uh, no, wait, that's not my story. Because someone inverted the control of my... Uh, Inverted the controls, so I couldn't pilot property properly. That's how it works. Uh, this could be a rare sample of the Necron language, uh, Margos. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. Uh, this is a work of the alien, Margos. Codex uh, Fulmiatis 8312. Show caution and scorn in all things. Sometimes text uh, priests will feed back important information about what they encounter in a room. These situations require you are commanded to make decisions. The There will be consequences, so choose wisely. Ahead is an obelisk-like object covered in what can only be described as hieroglyphic symbols. It reaches... It almost reaches the tall ceiling of this chamber. I mean, so we can examine the instructions, we can secure the surrounding... No, no, I mean, we're going to scrutinize the shit out of this. Whoops. But, we got a hundred data. Uh, as one of the tech priests kneeled to get a closer look at the obelisk, it seems to reach... <clears throat> to reach to the cohort's presence. The obelisk uh, splits open and powerful, painful, wave of exotic energy spills out. The tech priest is hit by the full force of the radiation and suffers immediately from the effects. That's fine. Uh, what do we actually have here? Okay. I guess we just keep going, because the funky shit happened down here.
Go! It's a fight! <laughs> Red holographic enemies within a room show the potential of a fight if you were to enter. However, this is not always guaranteed as our data on enemy location is not 100% accurate. Necrons. Rissica did encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have say they are as deadly as they are inhuman. The cohorts encounter resistance in the form of scene or constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move precision and uh, coordination. Okay, so consistency, caution, and crusade. Follow the established combat engagement protocols. It should be done by the book. Exercise extreme caution. Do not charge into headlessly, lest the trickery of an alien be a downfall. Uh, consistency. <laughs> combat will be joined according to the long established tenets of, of the Adeptus Mechanicus. For good or ill. Fight! Okay, let's see let's see how this how this plays out. This is the battle arena view. Using the power of the no sphere <clears throat> you control your cohorts of deadly adeptus mechanicus units while you sit safely in orbit on the ca uh, ca castus metallican. Um, okay. At the start of every fight you must decide the location of your units on the field of battle. Okay. You can only place units on the highlighted squares. Click on a square to place a unit. Okay. Um. Right. Okay, I only have two units. Rude! Out! Also, these health bars are going to be changed. I know this, because it's in the documentation. To move a unit, left mouse click anywhere within the blue outline surrounding your unit, then left mouse click the tick to confirm the movement. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go over here. Can I shoot? I could! <laughs> You've not relieved the life of the enemy yet. As a result, the amount of damage dealt is unknown. Okay. Servo skulls, specialized weapons, and other abilities reveal the life of an enemy. Uh... Oh. This is your servo skull. Every tech priest has their own servo skull. Service skulls are very helpful in combat and cognition uh, collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics. Ah, oh, this is neat! Because that probably means that similar well, similar enemies, right, have probably similar HP, so the more I play and encounter the same units, the assumption is that they would kind of have the same health, so I might not need to use the service card for it. You can then decide what weapon types work best to defeat this small creature. <clears throat> Hold down space bar to end. Okay. So I think... I think I'm good where I am. But can I... Ow! We're gonna cognition the shit out of this. You just moved <coughs> to a source of cognition points. What does that do? 
There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your tech increase closer to the source of CP. Okay. Ignition points are stored at the bottom of the screen in the CP gauge. CP are shared team resource, so plan ahead. Okay. Oh. There's a cat in front of me. Okay, look for the weapon icon to appear on your desired target. Then show them. Oh, wait, because. Hang on. Oh, so they. Hang on. Are these. Oh, these cost. This thing costs two. That's a uh, that's a power axe. I wasn't paying attention to what I actually had. So, we're gonna end our turns. <clears throat> At the start of every new turn, there is a data acquisition. There is a is a data acquisition phase. This phase is when cognitive cognition points are replenished. At Necron cognition reserves. Okay. <clears throat> You'll be able to call in other members of the cohort as the battle goes on. This will happen at the start of every turn. Okay. Oh, I can call in servitors. Oh, I can only call in one. Okay, let's call in you. Because I think they all have the same thing, yeah. When servitors are hit by enemy weapons, the inlets instantly digitize the damage recovered into combat information that can be used against the enemy. <clears throat> this is represented by gaining a cognition point. Servitors are very useful units in all your missions. Okay. <clears throat> in Mechanicus, there are two types of units to control. Tech Priests, the two units you already command, or troops, such as the one that you've just deployed onto the battlefield. Troops are your servants and cannon for them. They do not have access to as many weapons and abilities as Tech Priests, however, they are useful and should not be overlooked. Go over there, and whack him. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so you have a... I don't... So I don't think there is a... Possible? I'm not, I'm not sure if there's a cover mechanic in this. Killing Necrons isn't as simple as other Sino, uh, Sino's races. Don't I know it. Necrons are made of self-repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this the reanimation protocol. When a, ne a Necron is hit in their reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight but will return to fighting conditions soon. The speed at which a Necron returns to life is based on multiple factors. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this state will destroy them indefinitely. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so... I'm good. <clears throat> You get enough cognition points to be able to use your Phosphorus Serpenta. Okay. Some weapons like the Phosphorus Serpenta requires cognition points to use. Look to the right of each weapon or ability to learn the CP cost of that action. Oh, it's yeah, so a right here. Holy shit, this thing does massive amounts of damage. Oh, can I not reach? 
Okay, I can't. Oh, is it? Yeah, so I can't shoot him from here. I wonder why that is. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna walk over here. Ah, oh, what a fucker. Okay. <clears throat> Whack him! The servitors act first, which is nice. <clears throat> okay, we killed the target, because the dude teleported away. Do -do 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 -do. Give it a good whack! No threats remaining. Oh, but we didn't explore the tomb. Crap. I forgot about exploring the tomb. I thought about, I thought it might be the pillar broken. That's why I moved out. But it was also the only square that was blocked. So I'm not 100% sure. It's probably the pillar blocking. Uh, but we got 50, uh, we got 50 data. Oh, no. This is, I think this is the overarching mission objective, right? Once the fight is over, you turn to exploration. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, there's more stuff. <coughs> Hypothesis formulation. Sarcophagi, coffin, burial places, structural purpose designation, tomb. In the chamber ahead, there are several groups of structures like upright coffins of an unknown material. Ignore. Do not tarry to observe the works of the alien. Press on and avoid any distractions. Intrigue. Ensure you observe your surroundings carefully. Detailed picked grabs and readings may be key to success. Make sure you destroy any structure that looks suspicious. It's worth pausing in your You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna destroy some shit. The tech priest opened fire on the sarcophagi. Uh the structure proves all but impenetrable to normal small arm fire, but components of the strange necromaterials are stripped away and can be salvaged by the code for examination and repurposing. Okay. Ooh. Okay. After exploring the chamber for several minutes, a tile underfoot clicks. The sound of whirling energy builds up around your troops. A quick omnispec scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides by Sino's Sino's life forms. Fight, fight, fight! <clears throat> Okay, so... Right, so this is our reinforcement. Oh, look at this thing! Uh, you... No, hang on. I want you there, and I want you over here. Oh, okay. Nope, that's not good enough. Like, where can I... No, it's, hmm. I wish I could see like the range of my gun after I move, but it's the same thing. So we're gonna go here and see what happens. Yeah, so they're out of range. Just release the servo skull instead. Oh, three. Okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah. 
Go, go, go. Gather the cognition. Mm. Yeah, I can't. Wait, hang on. Conferring the movement will use cognition points, but like... Yeah, do it! <clears throat> Feel the wrath of my cognition! Nice, he shot the one that was less hurt. Okay, so... Scarabs? Fuck! I don't want scarabs. No. We're gonna go whack this dude. Good. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I'm fine with having my weapon range. Uh, that's fine. I just want to murder that thing. <laughs> that would be the angle of attack. I don't think that murdered all, all of the scarabs, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah! Holy shit, you can do... You can do so much with cognition points. Yeah! Look at it! I mean, I can't use any of my other abilities, so we're going to stop there, but still. Oh, okay. Attack of Opportunity exists. Nice. This thing is probably going to repair it again, though. New round. Mm-mm-mm. Cognition points. Hello. You go over there, please. Do-do-do-do-do. Whack it! So, what? <coughs> you know what? That's just that's just rude. Uh, we are going to destroy this thing though first. Oh. Okay, it did... I did not... I don't think I understood why that happened. Or rather, I don't... Uh, I, I didn't understand the acid that applied at the end of it. But so far... We should probably, you know what, you, and you know why I didn't understand that. That's because I didn't use my servo skull on the scarabs. If I'd done that, I probably uh, would have understood more of what was actually going on with the scarabs. But we didn't. Fuck me. 
This symbol represents <coughs> a location of significance and importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of the mission. Okay. Negative signs of wholesale forces. Nice. Uh, negative signs of wholesale forces. Seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirm per uh, permission authorized. Acknowledge Ma uh, Margo's protocol begins. What what is the primary focus, sire? Knowledge of Necron forces, numbers, defenses, locations, any form of data on how many remains on this rock. Secondary source the purpose of this tomb, why it was built. Interface devices all but eroded. There is one device that may hold answers, but Necron data looms are incomprehensible to Imperium Arch uh, Archaeotech. This might take a while. <coughs> Idea, Magus. If I if I may take the host of this priest, I could be of assistance. Approved. Hard to decipher. Uh, purpose list of suggestions, Megas. Uh, uh, de deconstruct devi uh, device. Activate switch mechanism. Learn Necron language and return later. What will it be, sire? Always so meticulous with your list, tech acquisitor. Uh, engage on Sino's uh, mechanism, although I detest to do so. The promise of the rewards are too great to ignore. Having a lower, having to lower ourselves to the Sino's learnings may be the only way to reach the uh, archaeotech we seek. Protocol updated. Confusion, no spheric inter in interference. Disconnect at once. Purged. Res reset. Neospheric disconnect complete. Possible scrap code will fragment now. Fragmenting. S uh, sire, we have unf unfavorable issues to deal with. Requesting Dominus input. Fragmenting. Explain. As tech inquisitor uh, Skevola left suddenly, my, cogita my cogitators glitched. Augmentations entered sporadic reaction protocols and have fried vital sign repositories. <laughs> Unclear of all that. Yeah, I don't understand tech speak. Necron device is now activated, sire. Fragmenting. 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 Frag. Remove yourself from the new, new sphere, Scavola. Redditors, report. The tomb is wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Reports from Skitari cohorts across the planet. Now that Tremors vex their locals, we've lost contact with the Skitari that are covering the entrance to the tomb. We can hear noises of approaching forces. Improve protection protocols, load weapons, and ready for what is to come. We must face the Sinos. Agrolek. I wake with a turning of eons. Stars yet burn. Life yet blossoms. It is, it is truly time. Thrones of Mars? What was that? An omnilinguistic transmission, Margus. It seems these mute constructs are not the only inhabitants of this uh, construct. What is this? Flesh and steel combined? A mockery of both! Their every footstep a blasphemy. With manners of galaxy is... What man... Okay, what matter of... What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Sinos Warform sighted. Exotic energy signatures past sensor range. Designate Sinos abominatious. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders, Magus? Okay. Uh, the cohorts reach a large chamber beneath the first layer of the Sinos ruins. Bridges stretch from balancing platforms, barely holding themselves together, while rubble falls from the high walkways like breadcrumbs, escaping into the abyss below. Fall back! Fall back! Get the tech priest out of there. Annihilate the Sino filth with righteous fury. Capture, contain the Sinos, and return into re return into the Castilla's metallic and intact, so it can be vivisected in studies. I mean, like... Twi Twitch chat is currently suggesting capture, which is like the fucking stupidest idea ever. I'm shaking my damn head. Survive six rounds. Holy shit. 
Okay. Uh, okay, there's the Lord. He's gonna be horrific. We also have... We've taken damage, so... I sailed the void for a thousand years. I fought the war in heaven. What can you do to what can you do to strike fear in one such as I? You know what? He has a fair point. Holy shit, it's so fast! Oh we're gonna Oh, we're gonna die. Run the fuck away. We're going over here because I think this piece has moved. I'd hope that he wouldn't be able to shoot from there. In the middle of that, Promino 100 just freezes current seven months in a row. Thanks so much. Welcome back to the subscribers. I'm sorry I'm a bit stressed. chat came up with a real dumb idea and I had to take part. <clears throat> How dare these wretched things stand before the Void Admiral of Saregan. Orange is melee and blue is range resistance. Yeah, that seems to make sense. Slurpy, slurpy. Run, o run away! Oh, I wonder if I can use my servitors to block this dude. Maybe I can. Mmm. Hello, you have one health. Go over here. Yeah, that's right. Whack him. When my fleet sails once more, vermin like you shall be strung from from my prow. Okay. Oh no! Holy shit, he does 10 damage.
You're about... You're about to anger the machine spirit of this weapon. Why? All weapons have sacred machine spirit that we must respect. Machine spirits can be angered. When a machine spirit is angered, there's a chance the weapon may not follow your unit's direct commands. Each weapon's machine spirit will anger at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapon icon. When you select the weapon, you'll be shown the possible outcomes. Use at your own risk. Okay. I mean... <clears throat> How much life do you have left? Okay, two. Let's start by going up here. Can I shoot you? Yes, I can, but I don't want to. Let's see. Yep. Wacka, wacka, wacka. I already know life for that. Can I hang on, can I send these? Oh yeah, I can send these to to gather con uh, cognition. Okay. Don't think to challenge us, we who killed our gods. Okay. Yeah! Take that two damage! Run like the wind! Uh, and also murder that dude. Okay, let's go up here and see if we can hit it. Um. Oh yeah, it's got five resist. <laughs> okay. This is, uh... Guys, it's fine. I have a plan. Can you hear the tremblings of the stars? Can you feel the whole galaxy's terror? Only 13 damage! I mean, I already, I don't think he's going to tell me anything new, but I'm like, let's just do things. Okay, I can't shoot him. Uh, we're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to run the fuck away. Because I only need to survive a turn. Yeah. 
Yeah. More cognition. Xenos contained! The cohort success, success to survive the Xenos life form. Yeah, so this is a preview build. Most of these will be probably updated and fixed. Report, Kepra. Oh, we got the squad out of the line, Margos. That has to count <coughs> as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered a Necron war form of capabilities well beyond our expectations. Yes, I do not... <coughs> I do not need to hold my emotional engrams. However, one battle won is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press, press on beyond our failures to reach success. And there is something else. The re re reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. It started when Reshark stumbled on a on the tomb, but our arrival is accelerating the process. The, that obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm, and now there's a coffer guy in the tomb. Are I have never experienced this before, and this is news to me. It's not like there's a uh, hundred episode long uh, Rogue Trader RPG campaign where essentially similar things happen at times. Uh, then we know... <laughs> Then we no longer enjoyed the luxury of time. Whatever we do on uh, Silva Tenebris, it must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. We do not even know yet how far the tomb complex extends. We are under the gun then. Omnisire preserve us if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional chorus, but I see they lack the logic to determine... Uh, decision making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. <clears throat> the word of the Omnisaya teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. Then, what are your orders, Magos? The Skitari will explore the tomb chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My tech priest will <clears throat> be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crises. Time may be a factor. But our mission can only be achieved with the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize the Skitari immediately, Margus. Opportunity detected. Leader forms of Necron rarely never observed. Potential of uh, plus 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 intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative. Focus on acquiring artifacts intelligence data from... Hold your blasphemous tongues, Skavola. You counseled the abandonment of our very souls. Life of Archmagus uh, Boruses, Appendix 9. Our only objective should be death to the alien and all his works. All else is deviance from the Omnisire's creed. If intelligence gained equal true, then go to victory. <laughs> and prophesy retrieval. To face the en an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. <clears throat> Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration at your conflict and choose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on Sylvia Tenebris without the Magi coming to blows. In our purpose we are united. This is the will of the Omnisaya. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. Holy shit, these dudes. <laughs> uh, Magos, the reading from the tomb are troubling. The Skitari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered, and what they have found gives me grave concerns. Explain, Xenobiologist. <clears throat> the Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems Margot's Reshak accidentally began the process and our intrusion into the structure has hastened it. These Necron uh, reanimation protocols are continuing in the tomb we entered, and from the energy spikes across the region there are other structures yet to be uncovered. My plan for the exploration of Sylvia Tenebris will locate these structures and contain the constructs within. That may not be enough, Megas. I have detected a repeating pattern in the reanimation protocols, and the rate of the Necron uh, and the rate direct Necrons are awakening. They are speeding up. Can you be certain? The Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. If the reanimation protocols continue to accelerate, they will fully awaken every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Given the extent of the buried structures, that will con constitute a Necron army beyond this mission's ability to contain. I see. Then <laughs> our time here is limited. 
Strategic calculations indicate time for appro approximately 30 full-scale tech priest deployments in support of the Skitari exploration. I will send Skitari scouts parties to discover other tombs and create forward positions for your high priority missions, sire. If the threat on a s on Sylvia Tenebris is not assessed and eliminated before full reanimation is reached, we will be forced to abandon the planet. No one would ever abandon a... Holy... Ooh. Look in the top left corner of the screen. There is a number of missions to take part in before the final mission. Preview build. As this is a preview build of Mechanicus, you are going to experience two levels from the mid-game so you can access some cool gear and exciting enemies and missions. This is why this figure is 15. Neat! I fear they are right. I, I feel fear too. It's part of my humanity I've chosen to retain. But I can quarantine it in my neural vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. 30 deployments to uncover the tombs and destroy the threat inside. It will not be easy. This is this is really fun writing. The Omnicide did not send us here to do anything easy. The threat to humanity uh, present on this world will be in eliminated or we shall not leave. Thus the equation is balanced. It is the will of the machine god. Ex Europis sector located. A sight to behold, even if it is in Sino's design. Lights shine bright, humming greens from the floors, walls, and ceilings, giving the room an eerie presence. Every surface is made of a well-polished met metallic mineral that seems as if itself is alive. Symbols mask the walls and floors, some form of Sino's decoration, language, or religious devotion. It's hard to know their purpose without extensive study. Welcome to the Cassius Metallican, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's one of the largest in the Imperium and is only af afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here, you'll be able to customize your tech priest and prepare for the mission ahead. Uh, we can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Okay. Before you go on a mission, you should inspect and equip our tech priest. Head over to the cohorts tab. Okay. Welcome to the cohorts court. Aww, they're on. The th <laughs> Here you can see the available tech priests and troop units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what their what abilities each troop have available and all static statistics for each unit. Tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Select a tech priest to begin customization. Look, they're on their, you know, on their, uh, on their miniature bases. Okay. So we have Secutor, which does plus. Welcome to tech priest customization screen. Oh, see, we're back to ten. There are many ways to customize a tech priest. You can change their weapons, body, augments, backpack upgrades, and holy shit, dude. We pre-made six, six different tech priests so you can jump straight into game. However, you can create your own tech priest and experiment as much as you like. You can upgrade your tech priest disciplines. Head to the discipline button near the tech priest portrait to find out more. Look at all this stuff. This is the discipline screen. As your tech priests level up, they gain experience to spend on the discipline skill tree. Each discipline is focused on a different style of play. Having a diverse team is advised, however, the choice is all yours. Tech trees can be multidisciplined, meaning they can learn skills from more than one discipline. Okay. So, <coughs> so these are like the. Oh, okay. Huh. Points to spend eight. Uh.
Okay, I... I'm not really understanding how this... Oh, do I have to select one of these? Maybe? Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. And then I can... Can I keep going? You can unlock unique armor... A unique armor part with, between the four available. You can then equip it. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, but that's because this is a preview build. Oh, they're new, and they have new deployments. Interesting. Oh, and these are. Holy shit, we get so much more uh, data here. So should we... <clears throat> this seems like a perfect time to take a bit of a break. Not a long one, but you know, a tiny one. 